Okay, dear students, today we will do laboratory work number one. The topic of laboratory work is preparation of a solution of a certain concentration and determination of its concentration by conductometry. Uh, you should find in your materials the recommendations to practice. Okay, we will prepare the solution of sodium chloride. We will use this dry sodium chloride and mm, distilled water. To weigh sodium chloride, we will use uh, scales. These are scales. And to prepare solutions, we will use flask. First of all, let's do some preliminary calculations. So let's prepare the solution with volume equal 100 milliliters and mass fraction equal to 5%. We will use the formula which is given in recommendations. That formula. That formula. I will rewrite it for you. The mass of sodium chloride is equal uh, volume of solution uh, multiplied by density of solution multiplied by mass fraction of solution and divided uh, by 100%. So for uh, volume of solution we use this number 100 milliliters. For density of solution, we use the table which is given in recommendation. So, we are preparing the solution with mass fraction of 5%. So, the density is 1.034. I will write it here. Density is 1.034. The units for density are grams milliliters okay so now we put all the numbers inside the formula 100 milliliters multiply 1.034 grams per milliliter multiply 5% and divided by 100% when you take calculator and do these calculations uh, on the calculator. So let's do that. 100 multiply 1.034 multiply 5 divided by 100. We got the number on the calculated 5.17. 5.17. So the mass of sodium chloride, which we should weight, is 5.17 grams. Let's uh, round it by tenth. So let's write 5.2 grams. So now we weight uh, sodium chloride. Uh, this is scales. So we take an empty glass, put it on the scales, then we press here the red button and make the weight of the glass equal to zero. <coughs> this you see, I hope. We have to uh, weight 5.2 grams. Uh, I take the spoon and start to add uh, salt to the glass. Okay. Five point one. I will take smaller spoon. Okay, five point two grams. Okay, now we take volumetric flask. There is a special mark. Uh, this flask is for 100 milliliters. 
So if we fill water up to that mark, there will be volume of water of 100 milliliters. Now we take the salt and uh, transfer salt from glass to the flask. So now we add some distilled water. This is a distilled water. I will add it to the flask. up to the mark I showed you. Mm -hmm. uh, here I will uh, add water with that device to do it thoroughly. And now I close and mix. I will mix the solution until all the amount of salt will be dissolved. So the solution should become transparent. So let's wait. Okay. I will add a little bit more water. and mix again. Okay, this is our solution with a mass fraction 5%. Now we measure electroconductivity of prepared solution. This is our solution. We pour it into the glass and put the electrode inside and we have to wait a little bit so now here we see the result uh, the number is 69.2 um, this is in Russian but I will translate for milli siemens per centimeter for water we had micro siemens here is milli siemens it's 1000 higher than water so 60.69.1 millisiemens per centimeter please write down that number to your report let us prepare the new solution with mass fraction equal to 0 0.9 percent uh, this is a solution which is very close to saline. Uh, let's look in the table and find the density for that solution. In the table I find 0 0.9 and the density is 1005. So the density of solution number two is one zero zero five grams per milliliter the volume of solution number two will be 50 50 milliliters 50 milliliters regarding the solution number one this is the solution number one we will take all the figures in previous table it was solution with uh, mass fraction 5% and the density 1.034. Okay, now let's put all the figures to the formula, to that formula. Here we put 50 milliliters, then mul multiply by 1.005 grams per milliliter, multiply by 0.9% divide by density of solution number 1 1034 grams per milliliter multiply 5 5% now let's do that calculations on the calculator
50 multiply 1.005 multiply 0.9 divide by 1.034 divide by 5. So we get the number 8. 70. This is a big number, but we will uh, round it by 10. So I write the number 8.7 8 .7 milliliters. Okay, so now we have to take uh, 8.7 milliliters from solution number one and put it into another flask to smaller flask and uh, to take uh, 8.7 milliliters I will use pipette so I will do the following I move it to, z to zero, to zero mark. Mm -hmm. So this is zero mark here. And here I just let the liquid go out. Mm -hmm. So here I stopped at 8.7 mark. Now we add water. Up to the mark. And then I will mix it. Now I mix it. That's it. Now we prepare the solution by dilution. Now we measure electroconductivity of new solution. So we pour this solution into the glass and put the electrode inside okay and now we look um, to the numbers uh, on the measuring unit so let's wait a little i will add more solution okay. so let's fix the number 14.5 please uh, write it uh, to your report now i will show you how to use microsoft excel program for plotting of calibration curve the first thing we are going to do is to make two columns in Excel, one column for mass fraction and another for conductivity. And we will use data which were measured by other students in previous experiments. Now I will show you uh, that numbers. Let's put these numbers into Excel. I put it here, 0, 0 0.5, 1, 3, 8, and electroconductivity, 0, 0, 0, 2, 9, 7 point 0, sorry, 7.48, 14 is something, 42 is something, and 110. So 
Now we will highlight these numbers, then choose insert and here in charts we will choose scatter chart. Let's choose that type. That is uh, our calibration curve. Uh, we can change chart title, so let's rename it. Okay, how to do it? So let's rename it. Let's call it uh, calibration curve for NACL. Here we can add axis titles. This will be this will be conductivity, conductivity, and this will be mass fraction. So you see that there is a linear dependence between electric conductivity and mass fraction. As NaCl is uh, electrolyte, it is strong electrolyte, and its solution conducts uh, electrical current. So now we will add trend line. It's here. It's linear trend line, and we will choose display equation on chart. Display equation on chart. Basically, that's it. Let's just do it more nice. So let's make it bigger for those who watch from uh, mobile phones. And this I can also, I think I can increase it. Mm -hmm. So once again, this is calibration curve, which shows dependence of electroconductivity from mass fraction of sodium chloride in water solution. Now I want to show you how to find the concentration of unknown solution using calibration curve. Let's write here unknown Okay, and uh, let's consider both solutions which we prepared as unknown solutions. So in solution number one, we measured the electric conductivity equal to 61, 69.1. So how to find the concentration? Uh, we will use this equation on the chart. So this y y is equal to 69.1. So to find x, x will be the concentration, uh, mass fraction in percent. Uh, we will do the following. Uh, value of y, which is 69.1, minus that 0.71. All this should be divided by that 13, 13.682. There is some wrong formula. Okay, now we will round it. Uh, we go to home. Here is the rounding. We highlighted number, do rounding. So it's about 5%. I remind you that we prepared the solution of 5%. So now we get 5% again. So this means that this calibration curve, it is very good for determination of unknown solution. Okay. Now let's do the same for second solution. For second solution, we found out that electric conductivity is 14.5. We'll do the same calculation. This is the same formula you see here. And we get this number. Okay. For the second solution, if you remember, 
we prepared solution with concentration 0.9%, but we get one, uh, almost 1%. One there is a mistake, but this is uh, okay, more or less, because uh, there can be several steps where we could make mistake on the step of uh, dilution, when I measured volume of solution number one with pipette, on the step of adding water, and also on the step of measuring electroconductivity. But generally, it is very close to 0 0.9. Okay, so they learned how to prepare solution by uh, weight and by dilution. I hope this laboratory work was for you easy uh, for understanding. If you have any questions, you can write me. Uh, thank you for your attention and see you on practical classes.